Yo, what is going on everyone? Today I am doing a Pokemon moveset guide. Uh, this is going to be a part of a new series I want to start. I might upload uh, videos every Friday doing a different Pokemon. Um, today we're going to start off with one of my favorite Pokemon to actually use competitively. I've been using it since VGC 14, I believe. It was 14. So almost three years of using this Pokemon competitively. Um, it has changed throughout as, you know, to accommodate uh, what you're gonna, what you are going to face. But, uh, so the Pokemon we are going to be looking at today, if you didn't notice from the thumbnail and the title, uh, would be Smeargle. Smeargle has been relatively underused in past generations, but with VGC 16, it has been a major threat and a major, major part of VGC this past format. So let's go ahead and get into what makes Smeargle good. Why do people use Smeargle? Let, let, let's take a look, okay? So let's just go ahead and type it in Smeargle. So the number one, number one piece that makes Smeargle good is its ability. It is one of two Pokemon to get this ability, I believe, and that is Moody. What Moody does is at the end of every turn, it is going to randomly pick a stat and raise it by two and then randomly pick another stat and decrease that one by one stage. So it can pick attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, and evasiveness. It's going to raise one of those by two and then lower another one by one. So that can be very good or it could really hinder you depending on your luck. So let's go ahead and give it Moody. Um, that is the, definitely the ability that you want to be running on Smeargle. And then let's take a look at the item. After that, um, so there's a couple items that you can really run on Smeargle. There's really only two that you'd want to run. Uh, one would be a Focus Sash. Um, that means if it is at full HP and it gets hit, it will not faint to that very first hit. It will leave it with one HP, uh, which can be very good because Smeargle is not the most bulky of Pokemon. Um, that is the one I prefer, but I'm just going to get and uh, give you the other option, which is a Choice Scarf, which uh, gives it 1.5 times the amount of speed that typically it typically has. But you are locked into the very first move that you select. Um, which can be very good because Smeargle doesn't have bad speed. So the Choice Scarf can really uh, can be really effective on Smeargle. But you're locked in. So I, I really don't like that. I prefer to have the Focus Sash. I just feel that it is more consistent on Smeargle. Um, so let's go ahead and give it that Focus Sash. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into its EVs. Uh, as well as its IVs, which its IVs really aren't that important as long as you want to, you want to know that you have 31 in speed, the defenses in HP, other like the attack and special attack don't matter that much depending on the Smeargle that you're running. Um, but its EVs are very, very important as well as its nature. So EVs, we're going to go ahead and we're going to max out that speed. We're going to max out that HP. Uh, and then we can give it four in defense or special defense. It depends if you like want to try and live a hit because it is at 45 base uh, special defense and 35 base uh, def uh, defense. So just go ahead and put that one into defense, kind of round it out a little bit, um, as well as give set its nature. So you could go jolly. Jolly wouldn't be bad or uh, timid. Jolly or timid. Uh, jolly is going to uh, lower your special attack and Timid is going to lower your attack. Either way, I don't think it makes that big of a difference, uh, whichever one you want to run. Let's just go Timid for uh, this video though, okay? Because it did start us out with a 30, zero, one IV, zero IVs in attack. So let's just go ahead and go Timid. Uh, okay, so we have the ability, the item, the IVs, as well as the nature. So what really, really makes Smeargle good is his ability to learn any move in the game. Any move, Smeargle can learn. If you wanna get technical, Smeargle only learns one move. That move is Sketch. What Sketch does is it copies the last move that your opponent used. 
Um, so essentially, he can learn every single move. So the number one reason Smeargle is good, which I'm sure everyone saw this coming, is Dark Void. Dark Void is a spread attack, uh, hits both of your opponents and puts both of them to sleep. Um, it is 80% accurate uh, to hit both of your opponents. Okay, so Dark Void, guaranteed, you're running that, you need that. Um, so then the next thing that I would recommend running, which uh, there are three different moves I'm going to say here, which is just personal preference. Uh, you could run Spiky Shield, King Shield, or just straight up Protect. Um, this generation, I like Spiky Shield. Okay, so let's take a look at Spiky Shield. Okay, Spiky Shield uh, protects from moves, and if it is a physical move, the uh, opponent's Pokemon trying to attack you will lose one-eighth of their max HP. So that's pretty good, right? Okay, so then let's look at King's Shield. Okay, so it protects from physical attacks as well. Well, it protects from attacks overall, but uh, if that move is a physical attack and trying to make contact with you, that opponent's Pokemon will lose two stages in their attack so that's also pretty good but the problem with king shield is you can get taunted to where you can't use anything but uh, attacking moves you can get thunder waved will-o-wisp poisoned um status effects status effects still work through king shield and then protect is just straight up protect you're safe for a turn um you're, you're, you're okay there um but let's just go with king shield so king shield it's very very good uh, as well as the last move that the last move that I say that you m must run, not not even a must run that you most likely want to run on your Smeargle, um, that would be Follow Me, um, which makes your opponent target down your Smeargle for attacks um, instead of your partner Pokemon, which can go really really can pair really well with Moody. If you get a two times evasiveness boost from Moody, a lot of moves aren't going to make contact with you and you could evade a lot. So Follow Me is a very, very good move uh, paired with Moody. As long as you get the right Moody boost, Follow Me can be very, very good. And then the last move can be really team dependent. Um, I mean, Smeargle is kind of really rounding out your entire team you can make him be whatever you want to be just because he can learn every move um so the la i'm gonna throw out a couple moves um which you know can be good for your team but maybe not everyone's team so it's very team dependent as i said um so fake out fake out is a very good move um it is plus five priority i believe and makes your opponent flinch so it goes first your opponent doesn't get to attack that turn. So Fake Out is a very good option. Uh, as well as, let's look at the next move I have here, which would be Tailwind. So Tailwind, uh, for four turns, you and your partner Pokemon, you know, Smeargle and the partner Pokemon, or, you know, if you switch in and switch out. Um, so for four turns, your Pokemon speed is doubled. That, like, speed game is very, very important. Um... So Tailwind, it pretty much doubles all your Pokemon speeds for two, uh, for four turns, which is very, very important. Um, as well as, right now I'm going to throw out some not very popular options, but still good options if you want to use them. Uh, so I'm going to throw out Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond. Um, you set up a Destiny Bond, if your opponent attacks you, you knock out their opponent. You knock out the Pokemon that knocked you out. So it's a one-for-one... -one but that can be very, very good if, you know, you put both their Pokemon to sleep, you set up a, you set up a Tailwind, if you, you know, if you want to take off, like, Follow Me or something. You set up a Tailwind, they wake up, they knock you out, you take them out while your other Pokemon is doing damage, and their other Pokemon might still be asleep. Um, so Destiny Bond is a, isn't a bad option here. Um, as well as, I'm going to throw this out. I tested this for a while, I liked it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way. Um, it, it's not bad, um, just Magic Coat. Um, because Smeargle is such a huge threat, Magic Coat can enable you 
to counter other Smeargles. What Magic Coat does is it bounces back any non-damaging move. So if your opponent goes with a Smeargle, you could lead your Smeargle. First turn, click Magic Coat. If they Dark Void, it gets bounced back at them. Your partner Pokemon is not protected. They can still be put to sleep if you Magic Coat. Your partner Pokemon can and will get put to sleep, but it bounces back and will put their two Pokemon to sleep as well. So I recommend, you know, uh, if you're if you're going with that strategy, pairing it with a Pokemon that can uh, learn Protect. Well, everything can learn Protect, but that knows Protect. So you Protect, you Magic Coat, there is, there, both their Pokemon are asleep, and you're good to go. Uh, so that's not a bad option. It's, it's really not, uh, as well as all of the taunts. You're going to see a lot of taunts and uh, maybe some Thunder Waves if you're using a Smeargle. So that really is not a bad option. You can bounce back a taunt. You can bounce back a Thunder Wave. It's, uh, it's not bad. Okay, and the last move I'm going to uh, recommend here is very, very trolly. I used this back in VGC 15 with a lot of success after Dark Voiding. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to get right into it. That move is Transform. Uh, what Transform does is, if you don't know what Ditto is, uh, Transform turns you into that Pokemon, like the Pokemon that you select. You have to select one of your opponent's Pokemon to attack just like you would a regular attack. Um, Transform turns you into that Pokemon. That includes stat boosts. Uh, it, it turns you into that Pokemon. Their IVs, um, you keep your EVs, I believe. So you'd keep the 252 in speed and the HP. So you'd be a fast, bulky version of whatever they are running because they're probably not going to be using the same set as you. But, especially in VGC 16, I did test this out in a little bit, a little bit in VGC 16. If you can get a Dark Void off and you transform into like an opponent's, you know, Primal Kyogre, that is game changing. Straight up game changing. How much damage you can do and how much of an edge that could actually gain you. Um, so I'm gonna end the video there. I think that's about all the moves I have. Uh, if you uh, have any recommendations, any moves that you say, hey, you know what, I think this is pretty good, maybe you should uh, look at it and give it a try. Go ahead, leave that comment down in the description. Uh, if you like the video and want the want this uh, series to continue, leave a like as well as in the comment box, comment box if I could type, speak, not type. If I could just you know string a coherent sentence together, then this might work. Leave a like as well as if there is any Pokemon that you would want me to do and analyze. Go ahead, leave that Pokemon in the comment box, and I will see you all next time. Good luck battling, everyone.